I think this is a really, really unique design. Having having a ball that you can op operate with your hands is totally different from having a traditional game controller where you're just like this. I think this has great potential because it allows the use of more motion in games and having a more realistic touch. And then you can just move it like this. Huh? So you, I know you're doing the little incremental movements to get the squirrel to move across the tree. Very that's small. what this allows, and that's why I really like it. And Alexander has now turned 16 uh, almost a year ago and has a learner's permit and he's beginning to learn to drive a car. <clears throat> and I don't think that that would have been possible without the perspective that these things can be achieved and the things that uh, David has shown us of putting place stepping stones that allow the development beyond just the sheer game That's development and the hand control the development there but give you uh, hope and reason uh, to think that there uh, uh, steps to be taken beyond uh, just the controller. I think these people are very visionary and they're looking forward rather than backward, which is what I definitely approve of. Having a research centre like this says Australia is thinking about something, it is doing something. And de developing this and launching it on the international market says, look, this is what Australia can do. We are a small country of only 22 million people, but yet we are capable of this. And if if you're an investor from China or Korea, you'd be thinking, wow, look at what Australia can do. I'd like to invest in that company. So early this year, the Orbi controller system was invited to come to England to demonstrate and exhibit the system, and it received lots of great praise. It was also in Singapore recently, and we have lots of commercial interest from Singapore and other companies. So the main thrust at the moment is trialling it with different populations, such as people recovering from stroke and Parkinson's disease, and also looking to commercialise it so people can one day actually buy their own Orbi controller in the gaming system.